hello everyone so in this video i am going to explain sumo table in domo so it is used to show data in table in two different format either in standard column based format or in pivot table so let's see how to create sumo table in domo so first i will create a sumo table in column view so just click on plus we have option card then click on view more then we have option to select sumo table now let's choose the data set so when we choose the data set then domo create a column view sumo table by default okay so if we have to change this table into pivot then we have a option we can click on this so this pivot part we'll see in the next video let's work on sumo table in column view so we can see domo has created a default sumo table with selected columns so in the left side we can see the list of column and if the color is green means these are the column available in table but when we just click on that the color got changed means this column has been removed so when i click on again now the color get changed to green so it means again i have added this column in the table so similarly there are lot of column which are not selected so i can select this column just click on this so when the color gets green it means this column has been selected so again if i click on this we can see the color got changed and this column has been deselected or removed from the table so this is how we can add or remove column in sumo table now another thing is uh, we can change the sequence like we can see the item description is first before item color so just drag and change the sequence so this is how we can change the sequence of column so i want order id here so i just change the sequence just need to drag from one place to another place sequence will be changed so now let's see the data so we are going to work on this selected column and at last we can see there is a total so if i click on that so in aggregate symbol the total will be removed so when i again click on this again the total will ap appear here so just remove this it's not required now so if you need in your project you can click on like you can add now we can play with this table we have many thing like we can sort based on ascending on descending order we can filter the data either greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to like using different different parameter we can filter the data we have a option to do grouping like item category is a dimension so there are lot of item category so i can make group of each item category and then we can see the aggregate of uh, i can say aggregate of uh, i mean count of order total sale like that so let's group it so after clicking on group we can see one group has created for item category so high rise is one group skinny is one group so these are the unique item category we have created a group now by default domo has created some so let's change the aggregate so we have option to change aggregate let's click on count so we can see now the sum gets changed with count so this is the count of order for high rise category this is the count of card order for skinny category this is the order count and this is order item count so when i uh, um when i do sum means we will have total order count let's change the aggregate and do sum so this is total order count order item count means in one order there are four item now simply this is order quantity 
item id so these are not required so i can remove this item id order id order quantity is not required item sq these are not required let's add anything related to sale average selling price let's add gross profit so gross gross profit should be in the sum it is loading please wait for few seconds So I think this is taking little bit long time. Just keep patience. So now we can see we have a total order count for each category and gross profit for each category. So we have created a small table. So we have an option to add many thing like we can add a item style also. just click on item style so let's remove this uh, let's make it group item style and let me make it sort so we can see a uh, four item category bootleg okay we have a three style one is porter calypso and canary four category bootleg and for the style portal we have 4925 order count and this much cross profit so like that we can uh, create a uh, any kind of table like based on our requirement so after creating a table we have option for formatting so we have a two type of formatting one is normal formatting so in the normal formatting we have option to show display number currency percentage and then we have a option to show final financial style 100 use 1000 separator so negative number in red so we don't have any negative we want to present it as a abbreviate like uh, let's let me show you how does it work so when i click on abbreviate so instead of a uh, full number it's changed to short form so let's remove this and i don't want 1000 separator so I want to see without as without thousand separator. So let's see the gross profit formatting. So gross profit is in number uh, currency format. So let's click on currency. So we can give the symbol like we have few symbol here. Just give the dollar. Okay, and uh, thousand separator if required we can keep. Otherwise let's use abbreviate and click on it. So now we can see for bootleg item style we have one forty seven thousand dollar gross profit. So like that we can prepare a report. Apart from this thing we have a option for conditional formatting. So let's see how does it work. So in the conditional formatting I want to give the between. So if my number like my gross profit between hundred. Thousand to one fifty thousand. Then I want to show in this color. If my gross profit is between one fifty thousand to three fifty thousand, then I want to see it in this color. If my gross profit is greater than equal to three fifty thousand, then I want to see in this color. Let's apply. So we can see the changes. Let me add one more formatting. If my gross profit is less than equal to one thousand hundred thousand. Sorry. 
less than equal to 100,000 then I want to see in this color let's see now we can see our data let's remove this total now we can see our so by seeing the data I can understand like uh, my category falls into like uh, gross profit uh, falls into which category like less than 100,000 greater than 100,000 so in the next video I will explain a sumo table as a pivot view thank you